others. Morgan Moses and Jake Snyder. Guys, we'll start getting some questions from the press here in just a second. I do have to ask one thing first before they do. You tweeted out a picture yesterday of him sleeping. Will there be any retribution, Morgan? Um, I definitely have to give him back for that. Uh, you know, they, they were kindly and asked me could they post it, so I said yes. Give him a, a good support, but I definitely have to give him back for it. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, let's take some questions from the press. Please introduce yourself, your affiliation, and please uh, let us know who you want to answer the question, or at least who you want to answer first. If you raise your hand, we'll, we'll get going. There we go. Hi, uh, Jake and uh, Morgan, Jim Connors from News 14 Carolina, Time Warner Cable. Uh, Jake, start with you, and but from both of you, uh, Tom O'Brien. What are your thoughts? How uh, how are you acclimating to his return to Charlottesville? It's been very exciting. I like Coach O'Brien. What's your name, Mike? Jake. I like Coach O'Brien a lot. Um, he's been he brings a lot of experience to our team. Um, I've really enjoyed having him around. You know, I'm on the defensive side of the ball, so I don't interact with him a whole lot, but. I really like what he's been doing with the offense, and from what I can tell, he's doing a great job. But uh, you know, he's not the only coach we got in new. There's a, a couple other guys coming in. They've all done a great job as well. Um, definitely, me being a uh, part of the offensive side of the ball, um, just having Coach Tom O'Brien over there, his knowledge of the game, you know, uh, as an offensive line coach, tight end coach, and head, uh, former head coach, um, definitely makes us better as an offense. Um, uh, the things he's doing with you know, the Titans, as Jake McGee, Jeremy Dollar, and that group, um, they're definitely getting better. And the guys seem to take uh, take them really serious and uh, buy into you know his techniques and the things he's teaching the guys. So I think it's a great opportunity for us to have a guy like that that's been around um, this ACC league for a while. Uh, I'm not seeing. There we go. We're struck right here. Here we come, Mike. Dan Satora with DTB Media based in Syracuse. I'll start with Morgan. For both of you, looking at Syracuse and, and Pittsburgh and their addition, what do these teams mean to you? How much do you know about them? And having Pittsburgh on your side, what do you think about that matchup? Um, I think it's a, a definitely a, a great time for the ACC to have uh, you know, those two additions. Uh, you know, uh, when you talk about those two, uh, those two teams coming to the ACC, you know, they bring a great tradition. You know, with bow wins and uh, you know a lot of a lot of accolades from their uh, from their, their universities. Um, I think it only makes the ACC better. You know, having pit having pit on our schedule this year, um, I think it's really great for us. You know, you're going to see a different style of offense, a different style of defense that uh, you really might not be be able to see in uh, the ACC years before. So having those guys on the schedule and in the ACC, I think it only makes the conference better. Yeah, I agree with Morgan. It's an exciting time for the ACC. It's an exciting time for those two teams, I'm sure. Um, two great teams, great programs coming into the conference, and um, I'm excited to be playing fit. I don't see a hand raised right in a second. Let's get back to the, the you guys mentioned a moment ago, having the new coaches around. You each have a new coordinator. Morgan, why don't you start and talk about your coordinator, the impact he's having, and then Jake, talk about the defense as well. Um, Steve Fairchild, you know, great uh, offensive coordinator. As we know, um, you know, it seems like the guys are really buying into what he's, what his beliefs and uh, what we do on the offense. Um, but uh, also, he coaches the quarterbacks for us, and uh, the quarterbacks, as you know, you know, it's a little competition going on. And those guys are are buying into the system. Um, a lot of guys lo love what he's doing for us. Um, as a coach and as a person, you know, he, he, you know, he's a great player. He's a great coach. Um, you know, he buys into, he listens to us as players and the things that we want to do. So uh, I think he only can help us. You know. Having his uh, his knowledge from the NFL and college um, on our staff, you know, is definitely helping us for our success. And over on my side of the ball, Coach Tenuta has done a great job coming in. You know, there's there's some carryover from the defensive schemes we ran the year before coming into this year, and so it's a it's still a learning process. There's still new things need to be learning, but as far as the schemes go, there's a lot of things that carry over that we still can understand. It makes it easier for the uh, the transition, especially for the younger guys. And uh, he's the kind of coach that, that players like to play for. You know, he's, he's fired up all the time. He's excitable. He likes to bring pressure, get after the quarterback, and create turnovers. And that's what we want to start doing as a defense. Jake and Joy from uh, WCAB. Uh, we'll start with Jake. But for both of you, what's it like being two of, like, eight seniors on the team um, in terms of leadership? What's your leadership goal like? It, it is a, a unique opportunity since there are so few of us. Um, my class was one that a lot of guys did not write shirts, so I'm one of, I think, three or four or five guys that are fifth-year seniors. Um, that being the case, just off the bat, you know, you've been around for
for five years, you're going to be looked up to no matter what. Um, you add in starting for a few seasons, and that just makes it uh, even more so. But no matter what, I, I would like to look at myself as a leader and, and Morgan the same way. You know, guys are going to look up to us because of the way we work and because of the way we play. And um, on the field, off the field, all things, trying to do the right thing, trying to set the example for these young guys coming in is the most important thing to us. And, and you know, whether we're one of 20 seniors or one of eight, it doesn't really make a difference. Um, I think, what, like Jake said, you know, uh, us, us two guys, just being being around UVA for, for so long and um, just having so many, you know, starts and career starts and stuff like that. I know a lot of guys look up for us, look, look up to us. Um, I think that's one thing, you know, I, I've developed over this spring is uh, being more of a, of a vocal leader instead of just going out there and playing ball. Because um, we had O'Day last year to, to, to be that vocal leader. Um, and I think that's, you know, it's helping me. Uh, I know it's helping Jake out to be more vocal and, and they, they have that character of leadership because you know a lot of guys are looking after us. Um, it also makes us a better team, you know, being able to touch each player uh, with the, you know, with the things that we've learned over the years playing in the ACC, so. Bob Holly, this is a question primarily for Morgan, but Jake, if you have some thoughts, uh, jump in. Virginia is known for its strong offensive lines to the year, and most of you guys that, that opened the holes last year are back. Uh, you do, however, have major backfield losses. You talked about having a new quarterback. You also have to replace Perry Jones, who had 36 career starts. Uh, bring us up to date at the process of, of you know, basically rebuilding your running game. Um, when you look at the running backs, man, you have uh, Kevin Parks, who's an amazing running back. Uh, you know, he, he does so many things for us. You know, actually last year, I think he led us in, in rushing yards. And um, uh, you know, you bring bring guys like Khalid Shepard, who who has uh, helped us a lot in the, the return and punt, punt game. Um, his, uh, his leadership and skills that, that he has for us on the team, you know, allows us to do a lot of things um, as an offense. But also, uh, Taquan Mizell, who's a true freshman coming in, you know, we're looking for him to step up as well. So, um, you know, Perry's a great player, but I, I don't think, you know, uh, you ask, if you ask KP, I, and I'm pretty sure he says, he'll say like, he can do everything that K, uh, that Perry does. So uh, I don't think we're losing that much in the backfield. As for offensive line, um, yeah, we have a lot of return, a lot of a lot of guys that played last year returning, and um, that that would definitely help us because uh, you know being an offensive line, you know that's one thing that you look for in our offense is to have a great offensive line to, to get there running game. Um, so uh, I'm I'm just looking forward to just working with these guys and just getting this offense going. So. Yeah, the offensive line's a good group. Um, it's fun, you know, working against them all spring. And, and it's unique in the summer because you're not really competing against each other every day like you are in the season in the spring. So I've got an opportunity to work out with a lot of those guys. And they're hard workers. They're dedicated. You know, they, they have a goal in mind. They want to get there. And we got a lot of good young guys that are going to step up for us this year as far as that line goes. Uh, for both of you, we can start with Morgan. Uh, the boys in Blacksburg have had bragging rights the last several years. How important is it to you uh, to swing that pendulum back to Charlottesville? Um, definitely, it's very important. Uh, you know, we talk about the season. You know, eight eight home games. Uh, you bring in BYU, Oregon, Clemson, all those great teams. In my in the back of my head, you always have that you know that Virginia Tech game circle because it means so much. You know, but just not bragging rights, but. You know, you talk about two traditionally great teams in the ACC battling at the last game of the season. And um, who doesn't want to see that around Thanksgiving time? Uh, but, uh, you know, I definitely had, I know I know Jake has, has that, that game circling in his back. It's, especially our, us being our last year here, um, this definitely means a lot to us. But, uh, you know, we just got to take it one game at a time right now. So I, I agree with Morgan to an extent. It's, it's definitely priority number one for me. BYU is first game on the schedule. That's the, that's the most important game right now. We take it one game at a time since then. You know, we've got 12 weeks and 12 important games, but that's the one that's circled year round for sure. That's always in the back of our mind, and, and, and it has to be. You know, any time a rivalry has been dominated the way it has by them for the past decade, it, it's got to eat you up, and it, and it definitely does. And, and the guys are bothered by it. It's motivated us for the past couple of years, and we haven't gotten the results we wanted, but we're working towards it every day. I'll get in one last question. Jake, this is for you. It's kind of a family question. Snyder's been wearing a jersey for a number of years at UVA. What's it like for your family for this to be the last year of having a Virginia football player? I haven't really thought about it that way. Um, it's, it's been a tremendous blessing for my family, you know, being from 
from Richmond, being so close to home at Virginia, to have Matt play, you know, two years before me and then myself for the past four, going on five years. Um, I know my parents have loved it. My grandparents are in the States, so they're able to come see us play. And it really has become a family a family tradition every fall. You know, Shaw, so six, seven, eight times a year. And, and I've loved it. I know my family's loved it. And uh, it'll be a little bittersweet when we get close to the end of the season. But I'm sure my family continue to come back to games for years to come. All right, Jake Snyder, Morgan Moses, thank you very much. Have a great season, Virginia Cavaliers. We'll be